Hey guys, welcome back to Ravino. Today we are seeing difference between cell wall and cell membrane. Again, these two are the terms that can be confusing sometimes. So in today's video, we will try and clear a concept about these two terms. We'll see what all are the difference. So, so let's begin today's video. All right. So as we always do, we will compare both of these terms side by side so that we understand the difference clearly. So the cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane. So wherever you read plasma membrane or cell membrane, they both are the same thing. So it is also known as plasma membrane, whereas the cell wall is called cell wall only. Okay, there is no other name for it. Now, if you remember, in one of the previous video, we have talked in detail about the uh, structure of plasma membrane and function of plasma membrane. So if you guys want, you can click on the uh, link shown on the screen for some more uh, detail about plasma membrane structure. Now. cell membrane or plasma membrane is present in all the cells okay this is the first difference it is present in all the cells doesn't matter what cell you are talking about always remember that all of the cells would have plasma membrane whether you are talking about animal cells plant cells bacterial cells it will have plasma membrane or cell membrane whereas uh, in case of cell membrane it is absent in animal cells animal cells do not contain cell wall why is that in just couple of minute we will see so cell wall is present in plant fungus and bacteria but it is absent in animal cell there you go this is one of the very important difference so now seeing this point we can clearly understand that other than animal cell all other cells are going to have cell membrane and cell wall both right so if you want to visualize it is the uh, cell membrane which is present first and after cell membrane is the cell wall okay if this is my cell i would have a uh, cell membrane first okay and then i will have the cell wall so that means cell wall is the outermost boundary in the cells but it is not true for animal cells why because animal cells do not have cell wall so for animal cells the outermost boundary is plasma membrane because they don't have cell wall i hope this point is clear right so your cell membrane is inner to the cell wall okay the cell membrane structure is inner to the cell wall now we understand why now what is the function of cell membrane and cell wall okay uh, cell membrane is responsible for maintaining a constant environment in the cytoplasm how it does so if you remember in the previous video when we were talking about structure of cell membrane or plasma membrane we saw that cell membrane is made up of phospholipid bilayer right where it has a head and tail structure so it is phospholipid bilayer something like this and this phospholipid bilayer is very selectively permeable that means they are involved in the transport of all the molecules that are required by the cell they do not randomly allowed any molecule in any quantity they selectively allowed what molecule is needed you know in and out of the cell and what quantity is needed so the main function of cell membrane is to maintain the internal environment of the cell and that is because it has the phospholipid bilayer which is selectively permeable they are involved in the transport of molecule in and out of the cell whereas the cell wall now as we saw all the cells that have cell wall is definitely having the cell membrane right so again the cell membrane is going to take care of the maintenance of the internal environment in this case also so what cell wall is doing over here cell wall is going to give the protection and shape to the cell so cell wall is mainly involved in protecting the cell okay that is why it is the outermost layer outermost boundary it is going to protect the cell and especially in case of plant you know plants need to make their own food right they are autotrophs so they need to make their own food they are not going to move they cannot move from one place to another place they need more protection compared to animal cell here we saw that cell membrane is a phospholipid bilayer what about cell wall now for cell wall different type of uh, whatever cell we are talking about the composition of cell wall will be different say for example for plant 
the cell wall composition the cell wall is made up of cellulose in case of fungus it is the chitin in case of bacteria it is peptidoglycan now here also bacterial cell wall made up of peptidoglycan in one of the previous video we have talked about the cell wall composition of bacteria gram positive and gram negative we have talked about the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria there also you can see little more detail about cell wall structure so if you want just click on the link shown on the uh, screen it will take you to the cell, cell wall structure of gram positive and gram negative bacteria and cell wall is permeable to all the macromolecules of course it makes sense we just saw that cell wall is involved main function is to give protection it is you know cell wall is just going to allow all the macromolecules to pass through it okay it is not going to screen anything and the last very important point is cell membrane is thin and a delicate structure all right since it is thin it can be visible only under electron microscope because it is very thin whereas the cell wall since it is involved in the protection it is going to be of course thick and rigid and because it is thick it, it is visible under light microscope so, so there you go these are the main uh, you know point that you talk about when you say what is the difference between cell wall and cell membrane i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning